Recent research disputes the view that a bad bite, malocclusion, can trigger TMD. Now, I have a major problem with this statement. Major research efforts over the past decade have shown little or no correlation between orofacial pain and faulty occlusions or jaw positions. Now, I want you to analyze that statement based on your years of experience in treating patients. Of course, we both know that such a statement is completely fallacious. Data are consistent with our finding, and I'm quoting, data are consistent with our finding that TMD is not related to type of occlusion. Note that while this statement is very matter of fact about the consistency of the data, it is also a true representation of a major shortcoming with much of the literature. You'll note that there is no specification of the type of TMD expressed in this statement. And notice that at the attachment of the muscle to the condyle, this part of the muscle starts to become stretched. Now that's what we see clinically, and we see this on a repeatable basis. This is a very, very common finding. When this patient comes in in pain, they're hurting for a very definitive reason. They are hurting because they are compressing this vascular tissue up here. Now I realize we're being pretty critical of some of the literature on TMD. So I think it's fair to ask what suggestions we would make for improving the situation. Well, I have three suggestions that I think should be requirements for research. Now the way Piper's classification works is that it uses an analysis by specific testing of six structural elements plus a pain evaluation. The first structural element that we're going to analyze is disc alignment. And we're going to analyze both poles separately. It's not true that everyone who has a malocclusion has TMD, or any type of masticatory system disorder for that matter, that needs to be treated. But it is unscientific to use this observation as evidence that occlusion is never or even rarely an important factor.